Welcome back, guys. After a long hiatus, I'm finally back. Yeah, one of you people unsubscribed, so you're dead to me. Not really. I can understand. I haven't put anything out in about three months, but welcome back to Montana Ready. Today, got a fun little video planned for you. We're all over zeroing of an M4. And I'm up at the target boards here to demonstrate and show you what we're going to be using today. We're going for a 25 meter zero, which should put us on target out to 300 meters. So let me go over the targets real quick. Here's your targets. It's a 25 meter zero. And these, these targets are pretty nice to use. So we're going to hop right into it. Get this show on the road since it's been so long. If any of you watched the life update, you know, I was on some army orders for a while and finally back and we can finally get back to the fun stuff. So the stuff we're going to be using today is this guy right here. You've seen this AR in other videos before, but I've done some extra stuff to it. Put the red dot back on it. I had a one to six on it. New muzzle brake, new BCM gunfighter charge handle to spice it up a little bit but to go over to get her started here uh, we're going to be doing three shot groups to make sure our gun is functional and grouping appropriately then we get to do an actual proper sighting in or also known as a zero so to start off with we're going to make sure we have our eyes and i got my ears over here so safety first so i'm going to set you guys down get prepped and let's get back into it. Let's go, guys. The main thing to remember on a zero is you're wanting to shoot from the most steadiest position possible. I'm kind of a weirdo. I like to do it from a seating position, especially if I'm on a real range. If I'm out and about in the sticks and I need to check zero, I'm going to be actually in the prone which is a far better spot to do it but in the current environment this is what we're going to be using um currently going to be zeroing with 62 grain 556 the m855 round the steel penetrators what i like to shoot so without further ado we're gonna lock and load our first magazine put our ear pro on here and then we're going to get right into it. I'm going to be shooting from a, a, a seated, unsupported position. And then uh, we're going to do a three-shot group. We'll go up, check the target, see what adjustments we need to make, and keep on doing uh, three-shot groups until we're happy with the grouping. And then we'll dial in the red dot to be where it needs to be. All right, let's get into it. I did have this gun on a 9 mil, which I zeroed at that. And I'm assuming I'm going to have to come down quite a bit, but just for formality's sake, let's go up and check the target. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to come down quite a ways from what it looks like. <sighs> Thank God this is only 25 meters. So, on your target. You can see, here's my three shots. I need to move this down about a solid like 12 clicks because we're I'm aiming on my red dot, center mass. Gotta love the infantry for that. Center mass, I'm gonna do some corrections and most likely gonna fast forward this bit since I didn't, it's kind of, you can do a uh, laser bore sight, but I don't own one because I'm not, I'm, I'm what you call the pores. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, Set you guys down, get it to where it needs to be, and yeah, fast forwarding footage. Gotta love being very rusty at videos and 
trying to remember how to do this, but. All right, guys. Had some trial and error there because it's been a minute since I've actually been able to shoot. So I had to knock some other rust off, but we finally got it where it should be on target here. So we'll come up and check our target. And we're had some trial and error up here, but we're finally in the target. It looks like, I know for a fact, this is the third shot. I kind of yanked it, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump this back up about two clicks to get her center mass. And then uh, we'll go from there. And then once I feel good with my grouping, we're gonna confirm our zero on this fresh target. So uh, yeah, let's uh, readjust and see how it looks. Yeah, but yeah, just so you guys know, I have tons of ideas still. And, you know, it was just mainly because I was gone, not even physically home to do this stuff anymore. So, yeah, I'm definitely got videos planned and some really fun, cool content. So please stick around and bear with me as I continue this on. So let's give this thing another whirl and do an adjustment. All right. All right, range is hot. I'm gonna walk up real quick, see where, if I like where the level's at on it anyway. So, I gotta lie, not shooting after a while. The rust really did sit in, but from what I'm seeing, it was a good adjustment. I got in a bit of a hurry on the first shot. First shot was a high flyer, but I do like my elevation where it's at. So I'm gonna switch to the new target, do a confirmation, and this rifle will be ready to go. And what do you know, it's actually a halfway sunny day. The wind isn't blowing 80 miles an hour, and if you haven't noticed, we invest, I finally invested some nice microphones so you guys could hear us. I know that was a big issue, so yeah, we're making leaps and bounds, and. Some good stuff are coming. Okay, switching to the new target. Take a little walk up here and see how that go went. Goes, wins. Anyone who actually knows me knows I can't really talk, but at least it gets the information out here. Let's see what happened here. All right. I'd say that's a pretty solid grouping. I think I'm, I'm going to have to come on over just a smidge, bring her down a little bit, and we should be good to go. So, yeah, gotta love that type of stuff. I actually have a bog death grip tripod that works really good for this, but 
we have tables and the chairs don't really swing out very well. And at least I know you got your 25, 50, 100, and against the back berm over there is 200. So eventually be able to get some proper distance is done here. It's better than just going out to the sticks and just kind of pacing off. I mean, I have a decent pace count for 100 meters. And then, you know, just simple arithmetic to divide it out just to get her close. But now yeah, we'll go ahead and we're going to bring her, we'll go ahead and bring it down a little bit. And let me take off. I've been very lucky ever since I bought this thing. I've never really had to adjust for side to side. It just kind of came perfect. But I think I'm going to go ahead, give it a click or two to the right. Oh, that's still really stiff. All right. Hot. Let's give this a go here. I think that should do it, hopefully. This should be the final one. That looked pretty good from where I was sitting. Someone finally else, someone else finally came out to the range. Must have had a weird random Wednesday off like I did. So, yeah. When I bring her a couple more to the right, and then she'll be good to go. I mean, it's a faithful representation out to 300 meters on your holds. So, like I said, guys, thanks so much for tuning back in. This video might be a little rough, and uh, thanks for just bearing with me here. Um, definitely, pra you can even practice them at home, practice your rifle fundamentals, breath control, nice, slow, easy trigger squeeze on dry fire drills. And uh, yeah, in no time at all, you can have your rifle zeroed. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.